The most important tool in winter milk jug seed sowing is your milk jug. Clear and opaque both work, as do different sizes of jugs, but I found that when you use something like an orange juice jug, the plastic is really thick and it's harder to cut. So you'll want to start with a Sharpie marker and draw areas that you're going to cut. On the bottom, you need good drainage. So if you put four X's on the bottom, later you can cut those. And then we're going to be cutting this and uh, milk jug around the whole thing, but leaving a bit uncut as a hinge. So when you can just draw that and make some um, lines to follow, approximately three or four inches up on the milk jug. And then use whether it be scissors or um, an X-Acto knife or some kind of other tool, all of these tools will work very well to cut your milk jugs. Start with the bottom though, because um, it's, it's easiest to cut through that area when you um, just have a little, when the whole thing is together and you have a little bit more stability. And then because we want to make sure that these really um, drain well, I would take a pair of scissors and make the hole a little bit bigger. Now that we have the bottom holes cut, you can cut the area around it. Once it's cut all the way around, you'll have a hinge, so you're leaving about two to three inches completely uncut. Now we'll add the potting mix. I like to use something that is very light and allows for the seedlings to grow well. Fill it right up all three to four inches. And at this point, because of the holes at the bottom and we're gonna water it in a minute, you'll want some kind of a tray to put underneath this so that you don't get water everywhere. Now we have all the potting soil ready to plant our seeds. Now you can see that um, I have the seeds from the turtle head plant here, a native plant to Michigan, my area of Michigan, actually most of the Northeast United States. And I'm just um, doing a light sprinkle of the seeds. And then I'm gonna take some soil and just cover it with an eighth to a quarter of an inch at most of soil. Now later, you have to remember that you have turtle head seeds in this particular plant jug. I recommend that you only put one type of seed in each jug. Planting ahead is really important if you want to know what plants are growing inside your milk jug in the spring. So because this jug will be out in the elements, I found that writing uh, the name of the plant on the top is not very effective. It just washes off. The best tip is to take a plastic blind or a piece of wood or some, something that you can stick into the handle of the milk jug. Use a super industrial Sharpie. Many Sharpies will wash off, but if you use the super industrial kind or even sometimes a pencil will work really well. Write the name of the plant and then put it inside the hole of the handle. Now we'll put just a little bit of water. You can also put water in the soil before you add your seeds. I like to do it afterwards so I'm not dealing with too much mud. And now it's time to tape this together. Everyone loves duct tape and this is no exception. It's the perfect substance to tape our milk jug together. Plan ahead and cut your strips. And then you'll take it and just put it around the seam. Make sure though that there are no holes on the top of the tape where water will get in. We do want the plant to get watered through this opening at the top of the milk jug because you don't put the um, lid back on it. 
but it helps to control how much water you get if you put the tape around and make sure that you're not getting any tape in through the seams. Now it's time to take your milk jug outside, find a place that it can stay for the next three or four months, a place that won't get too windy, that doesn't have an overhang. You want the water from snow and rain that comes to be able to go in through the milk jug's hole. As we go into spring, you'll want to go out and start checking it out. It's really fun to look through the hole to see what's growing. When they're still really little, if it starts to get dry, then you can water it. Otherwise, just rely on the snow and the rain to water your plants. After several months go by and we're in April or May and you look and your seedlings are coming up, you'll want to harden them off by taking the tape off your milk jug and then just keep the lid on, but you could pull the lid back a little bit or keep it kind of up and loose. If you do that for a few weeks, then it's getting more of the natural weather. And again, keep an eye on how much rain it's getting because those little seedlings will need rain. And then as we get into May and the beginning of June, you'll be able to take them and transplant them into another bigger container or even just plant them right outside. Happy growing. I'm Leah Savigny of Joyful Wildcrafting.